so today we will be discussing about the prediction of monkeypox virus cases through statistical and machine learning methods so first we should know what is modeling because um, we are here establishing uh, we are predicting so the prediction uh, a, there is a very beautiful power, uh, i mean feature of the regression that it predicts the things so modeling is nothing it is a regression um, one of the type of regression and here we establish the relationship between dependent and independent one or more independent variables so in simple word if a statistical modeling a, is a simplified mathematical structure or we can say that the establishment of the functional relationship between dependent and the independent variables what is dependent variable and what is independent or explanatory variable which can move, take any value and the dep dependent variable which depends on that uh, particular character so these are the dependent variables for example let me put one example from other field that area and production so production is dependent variable and area is independent so in the incidences are uh, say um, one variable and say some uh, other uh, features other uh, factors are the uh, independent or sir, uh, other variable or uh, say incidences may be independent variable and say infection infected person may be and uh, infection or recovery will depend on the infection so here in infection will be independent variable and recovery will be dependent so what are the model parameters so in statistics we we fit two types of uh, regression models one is linear and another is non-linear and linearity and non-linearity is of two types one linearity on linearity in variable and another one linearity on non-linearity in parameters so here if we are uh, we see this line y equal to a plus bx this is a line and this is linear in variable as well as it is linear in parameters as well a b but if we are taking the second degree parabola, say y equal to a plus bx plus cx square, then it is linear in parameters but non-linear in variable. So linearity and linearity, non-linearity is checked by partially differentiating the equation with respect to all the parameters involved in the model. If all the partial differentials are free from all the parameters of the model, then it is linear in parameters and if the partial or total differential with respect to the variable independent variable are free from all the independent variables then it is independent in uh, i mean linear in variable otherwise it is non-linear and what is residual the reality here we wish to establish the relationship between this y and x and what is the actual it knows guard only so the difference between object and the fitted value is known as residual and all the fitting measures uh, depends on the uh, this residual and they are uh, i mean uh, on the basis of these fitting measures we, which are the functions of the residual model uh, well some and if once we get the best fitted model then we can predict the best things uh, which will be very close to the reality so here in case of infectious disease, we can also apply these methods to any viral disease, any infectious disease. And here we have considered the uh, this monkeypox virus. So here we have applied, uh, there are three, four techniques, the distribution fitting method, the time series regression modeling, machine learning models, and the epidemiological or compartmental modeling. Here we will be applying uh, these uh,
pass virus. These are the, uh, I mean, the specifications, features about the monkeypox virus, and I am not going into the detail uh, due to paucity of time. So here, uh, uh, this, these are some points regarding the uh, monkeypox virus and their incidences all over the globe. So this is world cloud uh, map. Uh, we can see further symptoms of monkeypox virus. So here we can see here the largest to smallest. So you can uh, most of the symptom in most of the cases fever is very common. Then ulcer is very common. Then uh, genital is very common. Skin rashes are common. Then we can see uh, so many symptoms uh, for the monkeypox cases. This is the heat map we can say uh, for, for the globe and you can see here these are the uh, confirmed cases uh, from starting from 0 to say 20,000 and above. So you can see here most uh, uh, most of the part of the globe with yellow color uh, ha has no incidence and, uh, uh, and according to the these colors we can uh, see where the most of the cases are. So you can see here, the, here the most cases, so the, the, most of the cases are from these regions of the globe. Now, there are so many distributions, theoretical and uh, uh, sampling distributions, and in theoretical distribution, we have discrete distribution and continuous distributions, parametric, non-parametric distributions, and we have fitted uh, almost 1 to 3, uh, 123, uh, I mean, distributions, probability distributions or theoretical distributions to the top 10 countries of the world where uh, the incidences were found uh, of the monkeypox virus and uh, these are the best fitted distributions for all top 10 countries. The Burr distribution, Gumpert's, Gilbert sign and Lumax, uh, GenXPON uh, and uh, Fold Cossi distributions are the best fitted distribution uh, among uh, 123 uh, distributions over the uh, top 10 countries of the world. You can see here these are the countries and their incidences and they, these are the fitting best fitted distributions for different countries. So for Brazil, the bar is the best fitted distribution and we can have the idea that uh, the parameters, uh, location parameters means mean and scale parameter means standard deviation. And if there is safe parameter, then another we can have uh, some safe parameters as well. So you can see here for, for, for Brazil, it is, it is Burr distribution which is best fitted. And for Canada, it is uh, Gumpert's. And for uh, Colombia, it is Gilbert. And we can see uh, there are uh, Burr is, for, again Burr is uh, best fitted for Peru. And we can see different distributions, best fitted distribution for different countries. And we can have idea of their average um, incidences and the deviations in the incidences of monkeypox virus cases. Now the best fitted distributions has been, uh, I mean, uh, listed in this uh, table two uh, for all uh, top ten countries uh, with best fitted distributions and with their para uh, parameters. These are the location parameters, means mean and scale, means variance and safe parameters. You can see. Uh, coefficient of skewness and ketosis as well for different distributions, which we have uh, seen in graph as well. So now come to another technique that is time since this phenomena has developed over time. So it is important to study its time series uh, regression analysis. So here we have uh, used two methods. One is uh, exponential smoothing method and another one is um, I mean that uh, ARIMA model. So uh, under the umbrella of this exponential smoothing, there are three methods. Uh, one is simple linear trend, another Hall's linear trend and Brown's linear trend. And this one four, there are four method damped linear trend uh, which have been fitted. And in ARIMA, we have uh, fitted uh, different ARIMA models uh, taking leg values of AR uh, up to certain extent and uh, of MA up to certain extent and uh, the uh, order of integration till the uh, series is stationary. And uh, we have used uh, also the um, time series, uh, this uh, machine learning 
models and under machine learning models we have used here the random for, uh, forest machine learning method and uh, on the basis of the pattern and uh, the fitting measures we have uh, seen which country is uh, having the best prediction through either through uh, arima or uh, say by this random forest method so you can see here uh, this is the uh, augmented dicky fuller adf method by which we see up to which extent we should take the lag values of uh, auto regressive as well as of moving average so here we can see through this we we see the stationarity of the model uh, augmented and adf and uh, psa df we will see uh, the um, order of integration but here we can see the stationarity and on the basis of uh, all uh, uh, i mean p values which are uh, more than 0 0.05 for all the countries so uh, we can see here the uh, this is stationary for all uh, the cases so here acf and pacf on the basis of acf and pacf uh, we uh, find the uh, number of lag observations for ar as well as for ma and i so here uh, these are the best fitted time series models for top 10 countries here you can see here these are the AKK information criteria, Beijing information criteria, the MSC and MSC for Arima as well as random forest. So these are uh, and these are the best fitted Arima models and these are the fitting measures. AKK information criteria and Beijing information criteria which are the functions of the uh, residual. So you can see here uh, this is uh, for United States there is no need of uh, um, take the observation on the say variable. Uh, but it is a need of uh, take the one leg observation of, uh, um, I mean, this uh, error. Here you can see here, there are, uh, we, we need to take two leg observations of the variable under study and uh, one time we take the stationarity, it, that is differences and uh, there is uh, one leg value of the uh, moving average. So here we can see these are the RMSC root mean square error. Uh, for arima models as well as for random forest models so you can see, observe here which method is uh, best fitted uh, are good for uh, prediction for different countries so uh, we compare the rmsc of both the methods for different countries so we can here observe that for united states uh, through arima it is 386 while it is 282 for uh, random forest so here we will in random status in US. For Brazil, you can see here it is uh, RF is again good, and for uh, Spain, uh, Arima is good uh, because it is having 63 RMC and it is having 161. So, this way you can compare and you can uh, choose the appropriate method uh, for the prediction of multi uh, monkeypox virus cases, and accordingly, you can apply some uh, you can. Uh, make some uh, robust uh, i mean uh, policy to check uh, the further spread of the um, monkeypox viruses here you can see this is summary statistics for monkeypox virus these are uh, different top 10 countries there are these are the average uh, incidences uh, standard deviation and these are the interval that you can see you can see see here these are the uh, uh, plot of the graph for uh, different countries so you can see here it is highly peaked for uh, more and more cases for a united state then you can see for the spain and other all different countries now we come to forecasted observations so here we have taken 80 20 percent ratio of the data to train the model and to predict the model and you can see here these are the median observations for uh, different countries uh, through arima and these are the mean of duration for uh, different countries. Uh, so these are almost same, you can see. So it means data is uh, almost normal, almost uh, simply that is why median and mean are very close to each other. These are the prediction uh, of different uh, um, countries uh, of the incidences of the monkeypox virus. So green curve is showing its uh, for forecast and uh, this uh, I mean, this blue line is showing 80% of the data for the training and then rest 20% for the predi uh, 
prediction uh, this uh, i mean in uh, yellow color and green is uh, by the fitted fitted by the model best fitted model so you can see here these are very close having almost uh, similar patterns so you can see uh, that the prediction is good through different uh, methods now we come to forecasted values uh, through random forest you can see these are the mean and these are the median so you can see here uh, for uh, here is the data may be skewed for some uh, countries as you can see here uh, it is mean is 31 while median is 15 for england so it is slightly skewed data not normal uh, you can observe it for some other more countries as well so now this is the prediction method now a prediction graph through the random forest and that was uh, by the uh, arima model uh, time series model and this is by the uh, machine learning model random forest and you can see the prediction part so on the basis of these observation and graph we can make the best uh, i mean policies to check these uh, best and robust uh, policies to check uh, further spread of the um, monkeypox virus cases on the basis of these analysis thank you uh, now if you have any question any query, please ask